but we're going to go over today, um, just kind of hitting up the basics of your Google business information. If you do not or have not created a business on Google, um, it's really beneficial to do so. It definitely kind of bumps you up in search algorithms. We've got KV Core that if you're not on it yet, definitely ask Thomasina, shoot her a text, see if you can get on it. Um, but it creates a, a website for you and all of this can kind of intertwine and, and help you get more leads and hopefully expand your business. So I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> and let me pull up the chat box just in case. <clears throat> okay. So feel free to ask questions. Um, let me know if there's anything, whoops, didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Um, let me know if there's anything specific you have questions on. Um, I'm just going to kind of breeze through. Uh, the good news is with Google, a lot of this information is very easily accessible through Google's actual help and facts and resource pages. So um, a lot of the information that I keep up on, I pull it directly from here. I'm constantly checking it. It's very important to check Google. And we'll talk about that more when I get into the algorithms. Um, if you're not familiar with algorithms, they change often. Uh, Google is always updating how they pull the information in the search results. And, and of course, our, our goal is to be at the top of the search results when somebody wants to search for a local real estate agent or a local realtor. So all of this kind of ties in together. And the first place to start is your business profile. Um, so what is a profile on Google? Obviously, it's a free tool. Um, it puts you out in the interwebs. So that way your business is known. Um, the way that ours do, because we don't really have a physical location is it just doesn't give you an address. You just have to pick your general area when you create it. And that way people search, uh, you know, realtor, Virginia beach, realtor, Hampton. We want to make sure you're pushed up there and that you come up in the search results. Um, it's a free tool. It's easy, free marketing to get your name out there. Um, now, granted, there are a lot of agents in our area. It is quite a hefty market on that. Um, so you want to do everything you can to stand out. Um, let's see. There's no app. You can reach it through Google's applications. I don't know if you guys use Android or Apple, um, but really I change mine, access mine, start mine, typically from my computer. Um, you can answer questions, respond to reviews, things like that. Everything is kind of tied into Google Maps, which is why that's on the agenda for today. Um, maps, so a while back, Google kind of combined business onto the Google Maps makes sense because where do people go when they're searching for things? Um, if you need to find a place or a business number, most people are just going to Google it. Or if you're from your device, you're going to go into the Maps app and pull it up that way. Um, or your internet browser, which all ties it all together. Um, so if this is a good one for us, because yes, we have an office, but we don't actually have a storefront. We're mobile. We're always out there. Um, you can do it. The, the biggest thing that you need to remember is that when you set up your Google business information and set up your Google page, it doesn't go live until you verify it. Um, and that is gonna be down in here. I know I read it somewhere, but um, so basically you just create your business profile with your, your Gmail profile. Um, and then you wanna make sure you put in all of your information such as if you want to put hours, some agents are 24 hours. Some agents do set hours down. You see most of the time hours set. Um, if they're setting them nine to five, in my, my experience of looking at a lot of these pages, <laughs> it's usually a commercial or property manager. Um, most of the residential sales agents, you'll see that their hours are either 24 hours 
or that like they have it set super late, like 9 p.m., you know, 8 to 9 p.m., you know. So just make sure you put as much information as you can. If you have a website, um, you can link that to your Google business profile. Um, that easily draws people to that. And, and then of course, reviews are a big reason why you want that Google profile. You want your, you know, your customers, your clients, your you know, coworkers, anybody that you've done transactions with, you want to make sure that they're putting those reviews out there. Um, not only does it legitimize your business, but it also, again, when we talk about algorithms, it, it, it does play a small part in that to making sure that you are featured on one of the first few pages of the search results. So, um, so basically through Google search or maps, depending on which device you are on, uh, once you log in, once you verify your business, you can go in and start editing all the information. Um, let me pull up, I'm going to do, do a little search. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. let's do it this way. There it is. Okay. So if you search yourself, once you set up your profile, you should come up right on the corner here. Um, easily to find, I'm sure it looks a little different on the device, but you, you'll see it right away. Um, but if you're logged into the right account, you'll also see all of the places where you can edit your information. Um, so again, you can change your business name, uh, make sure you put your category, um, a good description. If you haven't written a bio, please write a bio. If you need help, get with somebody else. I'm happy to help read bios and see um, how they sound. Because basically you want trigger words to be, and you want the keywords, the what words that people search to show up in your bio. Um, this goes on all of your websites, including your business profile. That way, when people search these keywords, do, 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 if you got the right ones in there, they should, you should pop up fairly high in the results. Um, but um, you can add your opening date if you want to. Of course, you want to make sure you have all of your contact information. You want your phone number. You want your website. You want any social profiles. I have not added mine, but all my profiles are public. So it's easy. They come up in the search pretty quickly. Um the business location, if I remember, I think at one point I put the office in when I first started the business profile, but it kicks it out because we really don't have a physical location. So it'll change it to no location once you verify. Um, you can put all of your service areas, um, you know, it, everything Hampton Roads, everything. I do North Carolina, so everything North Carolina in the areas that you want to market, um, you do enter these in separately. Um, so you can do some customization. I know that there are some agents on the South side that refuse to go to the peninsula, you know, so don't include those. Obviously that's more common sense. Um, I do set my hours just because I respect nighttime family time. It's more of a setting the expectations for people. Um, of course, I honestly don't sleep very long at night. So I, if somebody does reach out to me, I I'll respond to them. Um, but I'm the one setting the, the guidelines of and expectations of just in case. Um, a lot of these things aren't going to apply to agents in general, because we don't, um, we don't have goods to sell. We don't, um, offer services that our typical retail shop is going to offer. So, so a lot of these, you're not really going to put a lot of information in. Um, cool thing is you can go, obviously your reviews are going to be here. You can message, but you can add photos. So as you're building your business, if you have listings, you want to add to market yourself, you can do that. Um, now I honestly need to go back through and update mine. Not going to lie. I just have some stock photos and general information, but um, market yourself. Obviously that's what we want to do. That's, that's the nature of our business. We want to brag. We want to market. We want to do everything that we can, um, to make sure we're noticed and out there. Um, 
you can set this up to where customers can request appointments um, with the bookings information. You know, if if you're if you have a lot of activity from referrals and online, it's probably a good idea. Um, but of course, you know, the main goal is to get people to call, email, reach out to you directly. Um, so you want to do that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so let me see what other information is on here. Any questions so far from anyone? All right, this goes over how to respond to reviews on Google. Um, so a little about me. Um, we, up until recently, owned a retail business, um, retail slash repair. And we learned very quickly, years and years ago, it's very important to interact with your review reviews. So again, this is why I wanted to do algorithms at the same time, because all this ties in so nicely. Um, every review that someone gives you, write a response. Thank you. If it's good, great. Thank you so much. Can't wait to work with you again. If it's bad, thanks for the, you know, thanks for the feedback. What can I do to improve? But stay interactive. It's similar to any of your other social media sites. The more uh, interaction you have with one particular post, the more people are going to see it. Google works very similar. The more that you interact with your business profile, the higher up in the algorithms you're going to come from searching. So people that do really well with staying active and staying on top of their reviews and getting consistent reviews, honestly, are going to show up a little higher in search results when people are looking for local agents. So it's very, very important. Please respond to your reviews. Um, again, I learned this through another business, but it works. I make sure with this business, I have seven reviews right now. Every single one of those has a response. Every single one of them we stay on top of, um, that way I can get as quick, easy up in the search results as much as possible. Now, obviously there's a lot of agents that's been doing this for a lot longer. So they do tend to show up a little bit higher. Um, there are other things you can do. You can throw a little bit of money at it. You can do Google ads, you can do boost, um, different things, but we're going the cheap and easy route for the purpose of these classes. Um, you know, definitely can dig in a little bit further if you want to actually do ads and things like that, but do know that Google does put some restrictions on certain industries, um, on how they can do those ads or if they can even do them. Luckily, I believe we can, um, as, or at least the last time I checked, um, you can update your hours. You can change all of the information. Again, all I'm doing, I'm in Chrome. If you go to Google, um, Google yourself, put your name in. If you're logged into that Gmail account, your business, once it's verified and everything is good to go, is going to come up at the top of the search results, easy access to get to. So you can go in and change the information and edit it as you need to play around with different things. Um, just know it might take a minute uh, for results to show up as things refresh. Um, let me see before I dive into algorithms, if there was something else that I saw on here. <clears throat> of course, Google can help you if you need more help, but again, <laughs> that's kind of hard. A lot of that is gonna be um, email or chat. Um, so this goes over the Google ads. You can definitely, you know, go into Google, go through this, see if it's something you want to do. KB Core also offers an add-on um, that ties into your CRM that could help with this as well. So I haven't gotten that far with KB Core yet. Um, I don't do Google ads, honestly, but if that's something like say you're a big team or you, you got a huge business going on, that might be something you want to do. 
um, but you can look into it there. So any questions before I move on to algorithms? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So there was a couple of websites I picked up because it's the best thing to explain algorithms. If you're not familiar with algorithms, it's very important in this day and age. We're so tech driven and everything is electronic. And if you're not part of it, you're missing out a lot. Hold on. Let me check the chat. I just saw something pop through. Oh, okay. Thanks guys. <laughs> just feel free to interrupt at any time. Cause I have a tendency to keep talking and rambling. Um, so basically everybody Googles, right? It's the first thing people think of. Very few people use other search engines. You've got the occasional people that don't trust the Google or, you know, whatnot that go in different directions. Um, I usually see people using DuckDuckGo go for that, where they feel it's more secure or the results come back a little bit more unbiased. But let's face it, majority of the people you know, the majority of the world, when they need to search for information, they go to Google or their app that they're using ties to Google and their algorithms and how it does the search results on top of anyone else. We know Google runs the world, right? Um so this article was actually pretty cool to kind of break it down and just explain how this even works. So what are algorithms? Um, <laughs> it's years and decades and, and tuning that has gone into making sure Google's pretty big. So when you search for, let's say I want a, a mechanic, that's a good one, right? Good luck finding a good mechanic. So I go to Google, need local mechanic. I search mechanic. All the search results that pop in, they wanna make sure that when you search for mechanic, you're actually gonna get mechanic. So your first result should be the Google Maps and everything local. When you search for that, whatever pops up. Underneath that, you, you are gonna see random searches, whether it be those businesses' websites, or you see a lot of the franchise websites pop up first because they spend a lot of money to make sure that they are in the top of the search results. Um, you might start seeing after those big names, you're going to start seeing some of the local stuff and, and smaller shop owners, but they want to make sure that you're not seeing the junk, right? So Google goes through the websites and they look for the keywords. They verify that this is a legitimate website. They compare it Two, does this place have a business on Google? Obviously that's gonna pop up first, which is why we started with making sure your business page is on Google. Then it's gonna, all these things happen in the background to make sure that it's not giving you garbage. It's not giving you ridiculous websites, old websites, outdated websites. You know, it's giving you legitimate information when you search for this. So in order for it to do that, it's got a ranking system. Um, it's gonna look at the quality of the site. It's gonna look at how fast the site pulls up. Slow sites don't work anymore. I got out of web development years and years ago because it just started going, it got boring. It started going further than I really wanted to go other than designing a pretty website. So it's really in depth now. And, and the biggest thing I can tell you guys is as we are local, as we don't, usually have the thousands and thousands of dollars that these big companies have like Walmart or Target, you know, we have to do things a little bit differently when we're not doing that. And, and the biggest thing with algorithms is making sure your website is legitimate. So the best way to do that is making sure that you keep up with your website. You're updating it. You're making sure it's up to date. You know, if you have your own personal website, you know, maybe it's hosted through GoDaddy or something. Um, they usually do the background checks for you to make sure that your website's going to be seen, right? You're paying them to host it. Um, but if you say you coded your own website to make it all pretty in the way that you wanted it, you got to make sure it's done correctly. Cause if anything is done wrong, it's not going to show up in the algorithm. Something is going to flag Google and say, Oh, this website looks a little outdated or it looks a little fishy it's not going to come up in the search results. Um, again, not to hound, you know, we've got this great 
CRM being pushed out to all of our agents, um, KV Core gives us a website. That website is, let me go to mine. I'll show you if you haven't set it up yet or if you haven't joined KV Core. The website is seamless. Um, it pops up. It has the, the basic templates that they offer us actually have a lot of the keywords and things that are going to pop up in these search results. Um, you can obviously add these to cater it a little bit more, but it's a legitimate website. It's a one page. You can add other landing pages, but it's typically what the modern website format is. It's legitimate. It comes from a legitimate hosting service. Um, and it gives all the information that's going to be and the criteria that's going to let Google know this is a quality, legit website and not some bogus website. And guess what? Now you you're checking all the group, the boxes you're, you're getting the clear, um, from Google to be shown in the search results. Now, how, how search results work. Think about when you search, um, you search for like, let's go back to mechanic. Let's stick with that one. You search for mechanic. How many pages do you scroll through before you ultimately pick one? You know, it's usually going to be on the first two pages. Most people after two pages, they're done. They've got enough mechanics. They've got enough information. They're going to start making calls if they even make it past the first page. So your goal is to come up as high and as quick in those search results as possible, because we are people that want instant gratification. That's how we've evolved to be. And instant gratification means you need to be on those first couple of pages. Most time, most of the time, people used to tell you the top three pages back not that long ago, but with the old algorithm, the top three pages was kind of a safety zone. Um, it isn't anymore. I mean, you got to think about the people that are searching. We, we're we busy. We don't have time. We just want quick information. Like I said, instant gratification. You really want to be as high up as you possibly can. Um, so that's going through kind of the crawling, indexing, search and ranking. And in a nutshell, a very basic nutshell, uh, anybody can always reach out to me if you, you need more explanation or aren't familiar with how it works. Um, so there's all kinds of things that run in the background of a search algorithm and how you land in those results. Um, again, I've already gone through, you want keywords in your website. You want, what are people searching when they're looking for a house, you know, um, house for sale, the location, house for sale of Virginia Beach. Um, I need an agent. So real estate agent, you know, um, a lot of people do search realtor, but you got to think about the people that search for agent um, or real estate, Virginia Beach, or, you know, real estate company. Think about the basic terms that people are putting in that search bar, just typing away when they're looking for this stuff, they don't get very specific. They do a very generic thing. You want to make sure those keywords are somewhere in your website, put it into your bio, you know, make it sound good. Don't, don't put it in there just to add keywords. You have to actually make it sound like it's part of an actual written thing that you were trying to put out there. Um, because Google will sense if you're just adding it in there just to have the words too, that actually takes away some of your quality. So you want to make it flow with the verbiage that you use on your site. Um, but you do want to have those keywords in there because that means you're going to show up because the relevance and the quality is going to be there. It's saying, oh, this person is searching for a real estate agent, Virginia beach. Guess what you have in your website, real estate agent, Virginia beach you're going to show up somewhere in those search results. Um, you can't go overboard with the keywords though. Cause again, that will also on the flip side flag Google, uh, that you're just throwing keywords in there and it may think you're a spam site, not really legitimate. So you do have to be careful. 
um, but you do want some of those words in there. Um, they want to make sure too, like um, if someone is searching in Virginia Beach and they don't put Virginia Beach, they just say real estate agent near me, you know, you need to make sure you put the areas you serve and break them down. Cause if they're in Hampton, but you live in Virginia beach, so your Google business page flags Virginia beach, but they want Hampton, but you work Hampton. You need to say that you service Hampton. So that way somewhere in your site, these are the areas you service. And again, we'll go back to, um, <clears throat> the coastal town one, because it actually KB core lets you put in your service areas. And I just did mine. So, but anyway, Areas we cover, this is also pulled from the parent page for Coastal Town. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously, we have service areas in North Carolina, in Virginia, in Maryland, and I believe if we haven't already, soon to be West Virginia. So all of those areas are going to be listed from the parent page, from the Coastal Town page, onto our own individual pages. But letting us know, letting the customer, the clients everyone know what areas you serve is going to help when people just choose the near me selection instead of specific lo locality like Hampton. Um, cause I do that a lot. I'm guilty of, you know, Chinese food near me, Chinese food nearby. You know, I don't really put Chinese food Kempsville, you know, so you do have to make sure you're looking at it from all sides, not just your own perspective, but you're looking at it from the masses um, and what they're actually searching. Um, obviously, quality, I went through that. Usability, again, that goes with the quality of your website, making sure everything is functioning and you don't have any broken links out, you know, <clears throat> I doubt, I don't believe anybody really codes their own websites anymore, but if you aren't updating the code to the changes and the different programming um, that's out there and you just leave it as, you know, old code, it, you're not going to show up in search results. Google is going to see that you're in an old website that may not work anymore and it just won't show up. So if you haven't refreshed your website, if you have your own hosted website somewhere else, um, and you haven't refreshed it in, you know, a few years, you need to do that. You need to go through and refresh your website, um, change it up a little bit, add some new features to it, or get on KB core and set up your website there. Um, we're figuring out and learning how you can direct, like if you have your own, um, domain, how to forward that to the KB core website, so you don't have to pay any extra money. Um, so we're working on that now. All of that will come up soon once we get all the kinks out and do a big training class on KB Core. Um, contacts, again. So this one's kind of cool. Search yourself often. Um, I search myself at least once a week. The more you're searching for yourself, the more you're going to come up when other people search. Um, just go on every once in a while, do exactly like I did. Type your name in, pull yourself up, make sure you're clicking on it. Um, interact with yourself, get your family members to do it, get your friends to do it. Post it often on social media. If you have a big social media following, get people to click on your website. The more interaction you have with your site, again, the higher you're going to show up in the algorithms. So very similar as we know to social media. It's actually, I'm sure social media is kind of based on what Google has done over the years um, as far as their back end. And again, the more interaction you have on a post or a photo or a TikTok, the more people are going to be exposed to it and see it. That's just the way it works. So you want to stay active. So get everyone you know to Google you. Get everyone you know to click on your website and make sure that you stay active and legitimate and they see that people are clicking on your site because um, that does matter. Um, this goes over the content organization length, the website structure. Again, this is just making sure your website is up to date, clean, legitimate, well put together. The better it is, 
the higher you're going to show in the rankings. It also needs to be fast. So if you have somebody hosting your domain and it's not the best host, say it's not GoDaddy and it's something smaller or less known and your website is slower, it's going to matter. Point blank. So those are all things you want to pay attention to. Um, this goes over the algorithm updates. So again, it's hard. You know, I, I, I'm a very tech person. I, I went to school for web development, um, have my degree in computer science, um, <laughs> managed and, and repaired computers for over a decade. Um, I have a lot of experience in this and I still have a hard time keeping up with all the changes, but every once in a while, set a task, set a calendar, you know, reminder, set some way that you need to go back in and do spend some time searching this because as things move along and as our technology changes and AI comes into place and AI is really going to change some things and already has, but it, this is going to play big on that as well. Um, you want to make sure you're, you're staying up to date with how the, any changes in algorithms and how you can make sure, you know, a lot of the changes are very small and they're not going to matter, but a lot of the, sometimes the changes are big. What worked, you know, two months ago, Google was like, oh, Hey, that isn't going to work anymore. And they've changed the way that they do their algorithms. So we haven't had major changes recently, not yet. I feel like there's going to be more major changes um, as AI continues and, and Google's got their barred thing and, and that's going to change the way that we do some things. So keep your eye on it, set up reminders to just keep on top of it um, or ask. I'm always here. So um, again, Google doesn't announce these changes often, um, but you will, if you go to the support pages in Google, um, you know, they've got one about search and how it works. And I thought I pulled it up. That might be that extra window. Hold on. Yep. Okay. So they've got their, how does Google search work? And they'll go in here and secretly just change stuff or update things or, you know, they don't announce it. They just go in and update their website. Um, sometimes they make changes and you don't really see the change mentioned in their public how search works, um, facts and information. So just stay on top of it, pick out some good tech sites. Um, if you need me to send you some, just reach out to me. Um, Charlene, I don't know if I've, I, I can't remember if I've met you or not, but anyway, it's, I'll, I'll put my contacts in the chat so you guys have it. Um, but I'm always available and always, I love to help. So, um, I really like this kind of stuff. Um, let's see, they do several updates per year. Some are more specific, but again, most of them have been kind of smaller lately. They haven't been major updates. They haven't been major changes. It's just been tweaks to get spam under control because there are so many there's more than ever. There's so many bad websites out there and spam and, and scam, not just spam, but scam where people want to take your money. Um, so they, they're, they're more towards security and filtering out the bad stuff, um, which is why it's really important to make sure that your stuff is the good stuff. Um, this says March, 2023, obviously it's been done since then. Um, there's a timeline on changes what's next. Um, anyway, so stay on top of the tech, uh, updates and information. Um, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, it's perfectly fine. A lot of the stuff that are in these monthly classes are catered to the masses. So if you have more specific questions, um, definitely reach out to me and we can schedule some one-on-one -on -one phone call, Zoom, whatever. And I can kind of break things more to specifically what you might have questions on. Um, most, I mean, everybody's at a different level of how they understand technology. And um, again, I'm just kind of speaking to the masses, not really breaking it down for any specific um, person. So yes, yes, yes. Let me type my stuff in now. So, woo, 
don't know what I'm typing. I'm a little chilly, so my fingers aren't working. There you go. So there you go. We got it all. Um, so let's see what else we got. Um, let's look at um, who's on here. Let's see, Andrew, have you set up your Google business for this yet? I have not, not yet. Uh -huh, do it, do it. Charlene, have you? Okay. All right. Well, let's pick on Christy. <clears throat> Boom. See how it, hold on. Let me do this. All right. See how it shows up. She comes up pretty good. Um, I want to see, I don't know if her website will show up yet. Let's see. <laughs> Look at you. You good little minty. Good job. I'm not sure which website this is. This might be her her new one. Let's see. No, it's not. This must be her direct one through GoDaddy or something. Um, let's see. Who else can we search? Who else can we search? Let's search. Let's just do. Let's just do a search on. Um, let's, let's do one without a location. Let's see what pops up. So we've got our sponsored people. These are people that pay, obviously. Um, and then you'll see, so when people just search for real estate agent, you will see the Zillows come up, the realtor.com, the homes.com. Um, you might see some of the larger name firms come up, the more franchise firms. Um, oh, look at that. Kara, she's a beast. She comes up, but look how many reviews she has, 105. She makes sure people give her reviews. You know, she's that. And it helps because look, she comes up and this changes, you know, you can do two searches back to back. It won't always be Kara. It won't always be whoever was top, but see how that makes a difference. Look at the top people that show up. They've got the reviews. They have websites. This one's a team. You know, they're the ones that are going to come up first. I'm going to go into real estate, Zillow, Property Spark, all these crazy new websites that offer real estate services, but that's how it's going to work. So let's look at real estate agent, Virginia, and I pick on Virginia beach. Cause you know, that's where I live. So this is, this is the search. I do these searches off often because again, I'm kind of a nerd and I find it very interesting on how it pops up. Um, but the first thing that pops up, you know, it's getting, it's getting where I'm at. It, it pulled my location and it's saying, okay, well, let's look at plus, you know, obviously me putting Virginia Beach, but, and it's going to come up and you're going to see it's, it's look at that, 749 reviews, 392 reviews. The top surges are going to usually be the people that have the reviews. You see the sponsored ones. These are people that are running Google ads right now. Um, and then you're going to get to uh, the random con combination of all the, the agents in our area. And as you go through, and again, your goal is going to be be at the top of these search results somehow, some way, get everybody, you know, to write a review on you, get everybody, make sure your website's legit, make sure your business page is set up because if you're not showing up here, you're missing out on the people that don't always go off a referral and just Google, I need a realtor, you know, and, and that, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Obviously a lot of people 
are referred to us, but then you have a lot of, I've gotten random people, you know, um, <laughs> gotta make sure they're not scamming you. Um, they don't want to talk on WhatsApp. <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation, but, um, you do get those random people. You don't want to miss out on any leads that you could potentially have um, for listings or for new buyers or to just help somebody start their journey with buying a house. Um, but yeah, so interesting. Um, I think, let me go, let me make sure I didn't miss anything with the Pretty sure that other article went through this in more detail, but <clears throat> oh, this goes over the keywords. So <clears throat> when someone searches for specific things, you know, there's different meanings to things. So your relevance and the keywords that you use, you know, real, somebody searches real estate. Now, obviously real estate together is two things, but Google doesn't want to include anything that's real. So like real cheese, you know, or anything else that is real in a different term. Um, so again, your keywords are, are very, um, very important and your relevance. I think it goes through pretty much the same thing. Usability. context, making sure it's all set up. Again, if you need help setting it up, please let me know, but you want to set it up because you are missing out again, not only on search results, but you're missing out on getting your reviews. I mean, we're a referral based business. And if you don't have those reviews, you have a friend of a friend of a friend I don't know if it's, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there like me, but if somebody refers me to someone, first thing I'm going to do is search them. I want to know all about them before I call them. That's I'm just that way. And I know a lot of people that are exactly like me. They need to know who they're getting ready to deal with. So having that business page, having some reviews up there, um, making sure you're, customers and clients. And again, your associates you work with different people are giving you those testimonials are very important to your presence out there in the world. And ultimately are, are very important to your success in a sales job, such as real estate. Um, because people do their research now, cause it's so easy to do it. Um, definitely try to put that on y'all's priority list to make sure you set it up. Um, it does. So when you set up your business profile, they do, it is kind of a slower process. Um, they are going to mail you a postcard with a verification code. So your business page is not actually legitimate until Google mails you that code. And then you put that code in. And if you don't do that step, you don't have a verified Google business. You're not legitimate anymore in their eyes. Um, so it, it can take you like a week to fully do it. Um, but again, it's very important for you to do it. Um, because it is going to matter. It's going to matter, not just to new people that you're reaching out, um, or farming, you know, if so, you send a flyer to somebody's house or go door knocking, <laughs> I mean, how many people, I, people knock on my door. I'm kind of looking them up. I'm eyeing them up and down. I'm like, mm, are you a legit company? Are you a legit window guy? Are you a legit roofer? You know, I would be doing the same thing. Are you a legit agent? Or are you just trying to get my information? Are you trying to scam me out of something? You want my money? You know, so you're going to search, you're going to make sure these people, if you are interested in working with them or having some sort of business relationship, you're going to search and find out about them before you commit to that relationship. So this is so important for that. Um, and then once you get your business page set up, make sure you ask your friends, your families, any clients, um, any people you've worked with in the past, put a review up there, ask other agents that work with you, come in to stump the broker, talk to people, let them get to know you. I bet if you ask, somebody will put something out there for you. So Anyway, get the reviews, make sure that people vouch for you 
as someone they want to work with. So, um, we got some, a little bit of time left, but that's pretty much all I had. Did you guys have any questions that you would like to ask? No, that was great. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. That's really good info. Yeah, it it's, it's mind blowing. Like if you really, really look into it, it's, it's pretty mind blowing. So, um, how it all works. So that was a very dumbed down version, but I'm always game for conversations. <laughs> If y'all want to talk more about it or go into it a little bit more, because it is a wormhole. But cool. All right. Well, then I guess that concludes today. Um, thank you very much. Um, trying to think of, um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. It's a little easier to do these classes when you have an audience instead of talking to myself. I'm, it's always awkward. That's why I don't do the YouTube thing. It's just, you're talking to yourself and <laughs> just not something, something I do. I'm trying to pull up what, what I'm even doing next month. Um, hold on. Just so you guys know what to expect. If you'd like to show up next month, it is on the group information. Um, but we're going to look into some CRMs. Um, I, that is probably going to get changed to more KV core focused. Um, so stay tuned for that one, but that's what we got next month. And hopefully I'll see you guys at stump the broker. So try to make it in. All right. You guys have a good day.